Hello there. As you can see, we we okay. We are in a video, and so what I would like to talk about is how to make a Baldi's basic sneaker pile. Ah, okay, but how to make a Baldi's basic sneaker pile? Now it depends what you want to do. Now in this case, what I want to do is decompile. Baldi's Basics 1.4.3 and not Baldi's Basics Plus because that's not really legal. So, yeah. But, if you really want to modify Baldi's Basics Plus and decompile, that is not my problem. If you want to modify a pirated version of a Kickstarter demo, that is not at all my problem. I don't think that's even legal. But if you own it, that's not my problem. But decompiling Baldi's Basics Plus 1.4.3, Baldi's Basics Classic. Wait, no, why did I say plus? Baldi's Basics Classic 1.4.3. If you're thinking about decompiling that, well then, let me teach you how to do it. So, first, wabam. Well, wabam, and here we are. First things first, you need Unity Hub and a Unity account. Links will be in the description. <clears throat> Links will be in the description. That's what I said. Sorry if the voice is like that. I'm sick. And yeah, you need Unity Hub and uh, yeah, Unity account. Next thing is next. You need to go to installs. You need to get Unity 2019.2.f8f1. F I, I just have this for reasonings. But you need this one for most compatibility. Okay. Next thing next. Next thing's next. You need to go to porkypowers.itch.io. Link will be in the description if you're not willing to type that in. And there should be Baldi's Basics Classic and Birthday Bash Decompiles. Here are some screenshots of what you need to have. Notice how I was talking about this version of Unity. That's what I mean. Now this is the open source Baldi license. Now you can get rid of this. This is absolutely useless. This is probably going to show us the warning text. But I'm not going to use it at all because I agree to the terms already and there's no point of keeping it there because it's just gonna make the game less cool but i highly recommend you put it into the about section or information or whatever so that people know because that's another way of doing it <clears throat> i'll show you how to do that later um so you're gonna go all the way down you're gonna find one of these which one is it? Oh, this one's Birthday Bash. <clears throat> so, if you're using Birthday Bash, if you want to... Okay. If you want to use um, B Birthday Bash, you can download here. And if you want to use 1.4.3 like me, you can download here. But for the sakes of this, for the sakes of this video, I'm going to cover both. Because I'm not cool. So back to this thing. Back to this thing. You're going to download both of them. If you want. Now in this case I'm going to download both of them. To show the people that are only going to download one. Or they're going to download both of them. Because I'm going to help. And I'm going to get everything to work. <coughs> now. All you got to do. Click the button that says download. And this is IDM, Internet Download Manager, which is going to download them for me because blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to download these. Now back to this. For downloading them, it may take a while. So, Birthday Bash and Classic, I have downloaded. These folders are named 1 and 2 because I needed to create the folder. Now I'm going to rename them back. Classic. Birthday Bash. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract the zip files into each of the folders but before i do that i need to open to check if it is what i think it is you know what okay so go ahead and extract keep the folder so do this i'm gonna use pzip link for that 
will not be in the description below. It's going to be somewhere in your browser that you're going to search up. So anyways, I'm going to press extract all. And then I'm going to put the tutorial birthday bash. This is birthday bash. And boom. It's extracting over there. Then, for multitasking purposes, I'm going to do the same thing for classic. E tutorial classic. And boom, there we go. And so far, so good. It's doing what it's doing. And <clears throat> it may take a while, but it's, uh, it's not really worth it if you don't like this, but you can give it a try. But when it's done, it'll, it'll show that it's done. And so, um, yeah, that may take a while. Now, while, um, while it is uh, downloading, <clears throat> here are my reasonings. Porky Power says that he recommends this Unity version. And um, if you don't know exactly where it is, I'll leave the link to it in the description for this thing, the download archive. <clears throat> but there are some people who had all of this stuff to make it and Porky Powers basically fixed the errors for certain stuff and all that so yeah but <clears throat> baldy models people have made new baldy models because of some certain reasons and stuff like that and if you notice here, this is one of the key parts where errors might come in. Because the Baldy Talk animation might be weird looking. But they, f they fix that. The, the sweepy thing got a sweep. That doesn't have much errors. And the time to jump rope. That's just playtime, right? Errors are fixed. Snapshots here. We got the balloons. This may look weird at first, but don't worry. Now, once, once, once your files are extracted in each of the folders, then you can get started. Now, make sure one thing. Make sure one thing. Um, you have the Unity version installed, and you're ready to go. <clears throat> so, if you don't have Unity Hub open, if it's closed, open it right now. Here we are in Unity Hub. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to press the Add button. So once you do that, you can go over to where you placed the project files. Now, once again, in order for this video to be for the people who want to do one or for one or like both, whatever, I'm going to show you how to do that. For classic, you'd click on the Baldi folder. As you can see, editor version is 2019.2.8F1. If it's not already that, make it that. For birthday bash, it's party. Go ahead and open that folder. Now it's gonna open up. Once everything is done with the resolving packages and other things like that, and the Unity other editor opens, you're ready to go. But not yet. Because I have to show you how to use it if you don't know already, and to show you what to do. Now once resolving packages is done, it's going to say importing small assets. Never press cancel on these things because otherwise it's not going to work well. Now you might be wondering, hey Wokia, why can't I use a later or most latest Unity version? Well, as Porky Powers stated, the text mesh pro meshing, there's going to be an error if you put in new or old unity versions as text mesh pro will make the text not really visible and much like that here we go 
Baldi's Basics Classic is loaded. Now all I need to do is wait for Birthday Bash. And we've reached 10 minutes in. Let's get started with... <laughs> Let's get started with the Baldi's Basics Classic Decompile. If you heard any random noise, that's called a dad sneeze. Anyways, you might be wondering, what is this little icon? Well, that's the camera. What you see as the player is basically right here. Now you might be wondering, how do I even use this? Well, this is the part right here where you're gonna need. So step one is to take your surroundings and look at them. Hey kid, where's the roof? Did I destroy something? No, Unity's built different. See, in 3D games like Unity, you can actually make the surface only show from a certain angle, kind of. But it's kind of hard to explain. Now, I wouldn't try adding roof surfaces on top because that's absolutely useless. But you might be wondering another thing. Why is there a wall here? Well, this wall basically shows when as soon as you try to go in the exits, the wall will come down, and that's how it works. Now, what if I do this in Birthday Bash? In Birthday Bash, it's a tad bit different because Baldi has a party hat on and there's a whole elevator thing. Here you go. The birthday cake and the elevator thing. Which is literally something different. Now, that's pretty cool to note and all, but... What do I just do instead of you showing me the surroundings? Well, let's let's start off with Baldi's Basics Classic here. Now that you've got your decompile, you can do whatever you want, like modding the textures. But if you want to modify the wall texture, you can't just select one wall and modify it. It's built different. You go to the folder that says Material. You double-click on it or whatever to get you opening that folder. Then, you would go to whatever texture you want to modify and the name it corresponds with. Dark ceiling, you might be wondering, why is just there just a dark ceiling? It's pretty simple to say, that's for this hallway. <clears throat> now, how can I modify the walls? Well, it's really, really simple. There are windows, and white brick walls, and wait, why is the white brick wall a lot more crazy-ish? Why is it, like, two textures? Why is it too bright? Don't worry, that'll be fixed by the gameplay and the things itself. So, other than that, I want to modify the wall texture. Well, I wouldn't use the white brick wall, white brick wall thin, Unless you feel, or unless you see that it's not modifying anything. Now, what's the secret wall? Well, when you get all the answers wrong, it'll teleport you to a scene. Now, what's a scene? Well, if you go back to assets, there's something that says scene. You're going to open that, press scenes, and then... Secret. Now, once you go in here, your camera will be facing like this. <clears throat> then you turn around, and you will see Baldi's office. And then, the lore begins. See, the lore begins, and it also comes with a secret message. Kickstarter reference. But let's go back to the school to show you what to do. Now this is the GUI that you see and this is also the GUI that you see. So I want to modify the walls now. You're really really annoying. So let's get started. Assets, material, ceiling. That's not what we're wanting to modify. There's white brick wall. You can open it. 
double click on that or just go to the textures and modify I'm gonna open it like that because I can I'm gonna try to open this in paint.net and see here's my wall my wall and then I'm gonna write no, no. I'm gonna write this here I'm gonna press this button here and then I don't know hi but I'm gonna Hold on one second, I need to change this, so. Alright, there we go. Hi, I guess. Mm hmm And then I could change to whatever. I'm gonna change this to green and do this. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, and then I save the texture, I press OK, and then it saves. And this happens. Because the white brick wall textures are made of like four-ish textures-ish, so, yeah. But wait, I only wanted to show one texture, it's kind of glitched. But don't worry, that's easy to fix. Tiling is two by two, I don't know, make it one by one? Yep. I was right. One by one was the choice. So now it's like this. But wait, what is the thin white brick wall thing? Well, even I don't know that, but it just exists. It, it exists for some reason. So yeah, I guess. Also, what is this thing? You may ask. That's a secret saying that this program is a cancer, meaning that Miss Man 12 had not much time to work on this. It's like a horrible thing. No making games in colors in the halls. Well, anyways, <clears throat> how would I do this in Birthday Bash? Same thing. But I want to modify the elevator in Birthday Bash. Here's what you would do. First, you would move over here. WASD, but just hold down shift to move faster. And here's the elevator part. These are fences for the elevator, and down there is, I don't know what's going on down there, but it just, it should elevate you up a bit, but <clears throat> for the elevator, the fence is made of a material, you go to material, and there's confetti and other stuff, but there's this spoop balloon, which are for the baldies basics, glitch, glitch balloons, the bald balloons. And there's the cake material, but you're gonna find the one that's gonna be the fence material. Which I think, if I am right, which I'm most likely not right, I could just search it the whole time. So this is right here, in the metal fence, and I could modify it like this. I could use my beautiful little pencil here. Say I wanted to do a little bit of these patterns. Also, if you have any questions in the comments, let me know. I'm going to say this again at the end of the video. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna modify it, save it, and boom. No, don't install the update. But boom. <clears throat> Here we go. The elevator is modified. Now for the cake, we have the fire, we have the candle, we have everything. You just repeat the process. Now I wanna modify the code. I wanna make it like I don't know. Baldi's basics, but there is no Baldi, or Baldi's basics, but Baldi moves faster. Now I'm going to put that for another video, because I don't want this video recording to take too much time. But that's the basics for editing, editing the textures. Now, if you're going to wonder, there's fonts, and meshes, and prefabs, and there's the real texture itself that you can edit the same way there's the animations too now I'm gonna leave that for a video I'm about to upload right after this
because this is gonna take too much time. And I hope you enjoyed the first basic tutorial, part one of the Deacon Pop.